Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Athletic Turf. I'm out here at Lambeau Field, and I'm being joined by Alan Johnson, Fields Manager. Alan, thanks so much for taking the time to visit with me and giving me this tour of uh, easily the most famous football field in all the world, right? I guess it depends on, it depends who you are, who you are, I guess. <laughs> who maybe. you root for, maybe. Well, yeah, if you're a Packers fan, maybe. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, obviously, we've got the, the shot here in the background. you got the stadium grow lights going right now. Uh, it's a nice sunny day right now, but of course, you guys are going to be dealing with a lot of cold weather. Uh, and, you know, talk to me about your system here. What, what do we got in the background, and how do you utilize it to its best? Well, because of our, our, our position on the earth, Green Bay being farther north, you know, the, the sun, the days are going get, to start getting pretty short here pretty soon. In fact, I was able to uh, tell from measuring the amount of light we get that we already were short light uh, the last two weeks. Okay. And most of that was probably we had a lot of cloud, cloud, cloud cover and rain. But basically, yes, one, you, you can't grow anything without light. Mm -hmm. Light is photosynthesis. You don't get that, you don't get growth. So it starts shrinking very fast, very soon here. And we have a lot of football to play, play at. Sure. And so the grow lights basically help us, gives us the, uh, the ability to replace some of that lost sunlight. It's still not replaced, it's not replacing the sun. But it gives you a minimum level of light where you can still grow some, some turf grass. And it allows us the ability to, as long as the air temperatures stay above freezing, that, that's the kicker too. We can only use them. People think, oh, you got a heat system and you have, now you have lights, you can you grow it all year round. But it still has limits. You got to have air temperatures kind of above freezing. Okay. And you can use them in conjunction with each other to extend your season. But without them, I wasn't growing, honestly, I wasn't growing anything really well beyond the middle of October. Okay. And now, with some decently mild temperatures, I can probably go to the first week of December before I, before I I'm d done you know not able to grow grass anymore so these are out here until you said the temperature the last two years it'll vary you could have a mild win you could have a really mild winter and you could use them all season there's been seasons in the past where I've thought yeah we could have used them all year and the last two years it was like December 1st done okay it's, it's cold and it's not turning around and when it's that cold you know then they're not they're not effective then. Okay, great. Well, Alan, thank you again for the tour today and for your time. Yeah, no problem. Okay, everybody, this is Alan Johnson. He's the fields manager out here at Lambeau Field. And uh, thank you for watching Athletic Turf News.